today. From Hard Rock Stadium in Miami, Florida. This is the National Football League. We'll see Tua Tungavailoa and the Miami Dolphins taking on Mac Jones and the New England Patriots. From beautiful South Florida, there's a look at Hard Rock Stadium in Miami. The excitement brewing here in South Florida as a moment ago. The Dolphins starters were introduced to this home crowd. They're fired up as well as they get set to match up with the New England Patriots. Here's Jason Sanders now to get this one started. And we are underway from Miami. On the return is J.J. Taylor. The lane opens here. He's past the 30. A solid return. Pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. So now the Patriots getting set to take over on offense. They're led by their quarterback from the University of Alabama, Mac Jones. Mac Jones absolutely believed in himself coming out of high school. Went to Alabama despite the fact there were many high-profile quarterbacks already on the roster and blossomed into a Heisman Trophy candidate in his final season with 41 touchdowns and only four interceptions. Steady, consistent as a passer, doesn't have the biggest cannon for an arm, but can stretch the field and lay those passes in on the deep ball. Four yards the result on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Three yards is half of what they needed. Now can they get the other three here on third down? Now Jones. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. That's an excellent job right there on third down. Like any defense, you never want to let them get anything started. And that would have been a first down. Instead, you saw the contact on time, no penalty. And before this drive could get wings, it's fourth down. Well, this complete to Henry over the middle. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. I know they got the first down, but Brandon, I still don't like the call going for it there. Yeah, yeah, they got it, but I would have punted the ball there, played some field position. I mean, it's okay to end drives and kicks, right? You know, the, we've heard that from different guys before. Remember, a kick's either a punt, right, field goal, or a point after touchdown. It's okay to end it in a kick. Harris going to get it again on second down. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 42. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. We'll get an update when we come back to Hard Rock Stadium. Could be four-down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. And he will have first down yardage as he's brought down at the 41. Defense had a chance to get off the field here in the open drive couldn't do it I know that we go into these meetings with coaches and sometimes maybe we can get you know a little bit numb because they're always going to talk about how important third down is aren't they offense and defense in this case one capitalized and the other as you said had a chance to get off the field and didn't get it done meanwhile Jones throw complete there to Smith three yards the game there second down On the give, this is Harris. And he'll get this down close to a first down at about the Dolphins' 31. And that's the kind of run that gets everyone excited on offense. And you know, oftentimes, the guys who carry the ball are the ones in the huddle during the chirping. Right now, I think it's the offensive line telling them, run it again. We are right there, about to break a big one. And he will push forward and pick up the first down. Now, after the running play, we've got a man down on the field. 
We'll get an update when we come back to Miami. Throwing Jones. Open man is born. And now look at this. Big game, but a fumble. But this will fortunately wind up out of bounds. The Dolphins take the field with Tua Tungabailoa, their quarterback from Alabama, at the helm. And for all the clues of success he had, highest passer efficiency rating. And now following that last play, I do believe we're going to get a review here. Yes, indeed, the red flag is out. And we'll get a moment here as they look this one over. Yeah, remember now, the call on the field is what they'll stick with unless they have clear video evidence to the contrary. And I give these officials a lot of credit. Such a tough and demanding job. You and I both know that. Yeah, they make the right call way more often than they get it wrong. So not successful there on the challenge, and he'll have to be careful from here on out because he'll only have one challenge remaining. Now the former Washington Husky, here's Miles Gaskin, and he'll work this forward for about three at second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook? Oh, uh, looking for Waddle, but it's intercepted. Picked up by Jonathan Jones, and they'll set up shop in enemy territory at the 45-yard line. He's just got to be thinking, I hope that's not a harbinger of things to come. Very first pass of the afternoon picked. And where do you go from here? Because when you start that way, do you allow that to seep into you and stay with you the rest of the game? Or do you find a way out of it? We're going to find out. Jones throw there, taken in by Smith. And they're able to work this to the 25 before it's all said and done. Well, normally you see three tight ends in a formation. You have to think to yourself, this has got to be a run. And I know as a safety, when I saw that, I took an extra step or two towards the line of scrimmage. Instead, they threw the ball, and he found one of those tight ends for a very nice pickup. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. How best to describe that one? I'd say right down Broadway on that run. A straight ahead running. I think that that might be something we see a lot of between the tackles today. Well, he's enjoying things so far here this afternoon. Sees a crease and bursts through it for a solid game. Looking for Aguilar, and it's intercepted. Picked off, Byron Jones. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six and a Dolphins touchdown. So a pick six there out of the nickel package. They went with five DBs. Almost becoming the base package in the NFL is the nickel. Hard to throw against. That was demonstrated one more time. A pick six going the other way. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that makes the score 7-0. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. On the return, it's Taylor. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And the Patriot offense back out, getting set to go. And last time, decent field position through the pick six. Obviously costly. But they can't afford to just bunker in now. All right, they, good field position means go ahead and attack on offense. Try and press the advantage a little bit. They just have to be better with the football on this possession. So the last one it didn't bother you too much last time? No, because it's, it's exactly what you're supposed to do. You can't have good field position and not try to take advantage of it. Sometimes the defense makes a good play, too. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. Trying to pick it up on the ground with Harris. And he will have a first down here at about the 40. 
Well, after an interception, last thing you want to do is go three and out, give the ball right back. They avoided that. Yeah, you definitely do not want to do that. I remember in college, I played with a really big-time player on defense. We ended up getting an interception as we passed the offense coming out. He told them, if you don't take care of this football, you have to answer to me later. You definitely want to take care of it, pick up first downs. Stevenson gets it again on second down. Stevenson a first down and more. And he'll get this down to the 39-yard line. Partner, in our years together, we've never really run into a player that's admitted a, a doubt or a lack of confidence, right? But right now, I'm just wondering about that interior line because on defense, they're starting to get manhandled at the point of attack. Do they have it in them to figure a way to reverse the tide? Because right now, they're running the ball at will. I tell you what, it looks like he's shaking off that pick six just fine. It's not just defensive backs that have to have short memories. Quarterbacks utilize that as well. A much more confident throw right there. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. They hand this off to Harris. And here he'll get it down to the seven. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. This is Harris. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris taking it in from seven yards away. And the Patriots are within an extra point of tying this one up. A strong, determined run there, Charles, to get in for six points. This is why it's such a team game, isn't it? And I know that sounds really generic and it sounds almost trite, but the blocks were made up front, offensive line, collective victory at the line of scrimmage and downfield. And how about the finish to the run all the way into the end zone? So I'll leave it at seven now as they kick it away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. To a tongue of Iloa in the offense heading back out. And he'll look to rebound from the early interception that led to six points the other way. And when he threw the interception and he had to come to the sideline, I guarantee his first thought wasn't about the interception itself, but what could result. And I know he was thinking to himself, come on, defense, bail me out. Well, they weren't able to in this situation. Now he's got to go out and atone for it himself, but he can't force things. Nice little nifty play for him there. Yeah, that's the ability to read a defense and utilize players that don't often get picked up in coverage easily. And I'm talking about being able to use the backs out of the backfield. Because I know that when I used to cover, hey, we got everybody cut. Oh, he just snuck out there, and they just got a nice first down there. What do we love to say? Get those backs into space, right? They were able to do that there. Nice pickup on first down. And that'll be good for eight yards to the 45. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. But we always talk about good down and distance, allowing offenses to expand their playbook. Well, second and two, that means your playbook's wide open. You can run just about anything. But a lot of times, the play caller, he just looks down at his sheet. The Pats are going to get there. Down he goes. Jawan Bentley showing his strength and quickness there. A loss of four. Second and 14. Another try after the first down sack. Tool. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. And not the first quarter that he was hoping for. Now two interceptions thrown. Well, the good ones, they find a way to compartmentalize, right? Put these behind them, have that short memory, but understand why they threw the two interceptions. They go on and usually play a pretty decent game. Other quarterbacks... They have a hard time getting past it and often put the ball up for grabs the rest of the ball game. 77 yards rushing for him as he's got the afternoon off to a great start. Well, they came into this game saying it was important that they set the tone and show that they can run the football. And I believe that they've done that here in the first quarter. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. And that'll 
that'll set them back five. So a little bit of a stiffer challenge now. First and 15 following the delay of game. Looking to throw. Jones. Over the middle complete. That's Myers. That's good. The completion there for seven yards. And it's a second down. Back to throw. Jones. He gets it to James White. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 22-yard line. One of my old teammates called me the other day when he was watching the game. He's like, man, try to watch an NFL game and trying to account for their passing game? That's difficult. And just when you think you get everything covered, here comes a back out of the backfield. And in this case, he picks up the first down. And down inside the 15, shy of the 10. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. He'll get that out to the flat to White. Touchdown, Patriots! James White, an 11-yard touchdown. And the Patriots have taken the lead. Well, I think, and correct me if I'm wrong, but his top two options were not available on that throw, so he went the safe route, worked out pretty well. It was like you were in the pocket. How about you going through the progressions like that, what a lot of offenses say, touchdown to check down. Look downfield first, bring it back to the line of scrimmage. Not easy for a rookie to do. Oftentimes, they get one look, and they make their decision off of that. He went through three. That was impressive. Waddle is going to elect to not bring this out, and instead his guys will begin at the 25-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. To this point, the results have not been good. Two possessions, two turnovers. And that's obviously something that can't continue, but to go a little bit deeper on that one, I would think about some play calls now, not even necessarily to my best player, but to someone I can trust with the ball, try and get things settled down a little bit. Here's a second and two now from the 33. On play action, here's Tua. He's going to let one go deep for Parker. Oh, and Tua going to be intercepted for the third time. Picked off by Jalen Mills. And the Pats will have solid field position here as they take over at their 45-yard line. Three first-half interceptions now, and Charles, you'd have to think a fair amount of concern is developing over there on that sideline. And there should be, because essentially, he's been a little loose and possibly reckless with the football here in the first half. Now, maybe it's not all on him, but still, three interceptions. That puts the entire team in jeopardy. So, the play caller from here on out, got to design some throws for him that he can complete, keep it away from the defense, and try and get him back on track. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Patriots in control of the football. Through one quarter, 14-7, our score. Now this one to his tight end out on the right side. And he'll maybe get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. No gain that time on the completion, and it'll be third down. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. It's a gain of five, and now the question, will the offense stay out there on fourth and one? Frustrating for a defense, energizing for an offense. Finding a way to create that type of yardage in your running game, that'll make the guys carrying the ball very, very happy. They'll try and run with a fullback, Johnson. And he's taken down at the 43, but not before picking up the first. I don't care what he's listed in the program. Fullback, running back, tailback, it doesn't matter. He ran that play like a fullback. Just like the old days when we saw the fullback dive. How about him picking that one up? Only well, needed a yard on fourth down. That's what he's there for, right? Exactly. Line him up, short yardage situation, and say, here it is, big man. Go get it. And that is incomplete. Oh, the coverage a little too good there. And it's second down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. Now we give to the first man through, and that's Johnson. And he's going to get it down to the 33-yard line here. Nine yards, and that leaves him just short, so it'll be third and less than a yard. I know a lot of times we like to put players in certain boxes. He does this, and he does that. 
this guy, he can do a little bit of everything. He's not just a lead blocker or a guy who protects the passer. Handing the ball, he might want to get out of the way. They sure went against conventional wisdom, calling a pass on third and inches. Had to be thinking to themselves, the defense is going to overcommit against the run. Should be an easy pitch and catch. Didn't turn out that way. And Folk's kick is good. And they will move up by 10 now, 17 to 7. So the turnover leads to points as they add three there. Yeah, what a sequence there and a nice one for them. They force the interception, put together a little drive, and then come away with three points. Nothing to it, partner. Just do it. This taken in at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Tua and the rest of the Dolphin offense heading back out. And I guess right now as we look at some of his struggles today, the term next play really applies here. He's got to move on. I love where your head is on that because that's where his head needs to be. Exactly what you said. Yes, there have been mistakes made, but he's got to move on and play the next play as if it didn't happen, keep his confidence up. But how about the guys on the defensive side of the ball? They've got to be feeling great about what's going on right now. They've already gotten to him a few times. They want to keep that up. Maybe they can pick off a few more. Yeah, they disrupted already for three INTs. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Here's Tongue of Iloa to throw. Finding Gaskin underneath. And he's able to get out to the 32, brought down there. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he's going to get the first down as he covers up after a pretty good shot there. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands in a hurry. And that was a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. And that one going to be off target and incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes. But the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Two on a throw again. Looking for Parker again, and this time he's got it. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. On the handoff, it's Gaskin. And he's got the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. They had yet to run the ball at all on this drive, but third and short definitely was a great time to dial one up. So into Pat's territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 49-yard line. Now a play fake. Here's Tug of Iloa. And this is caught. It's Parker. And he's got this down to the 35. And that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. And he sneaks his way forward only for a couple here, second down. Well, they certainly had success throwing the ball on this drive and not as much running it as we just saw once again on that last play, stopped after a very short gain. But I wouldn't abandon the run totally because otherwise, pass rushers just tee off on your quarterback. It makes it very, very difficult for him in that situation. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. In search of eight yards on third down. They've already converted two of these on this drive. Two for two. From the gun, it's Tua. And a dangerous throw there as that's knocked down and incomplete. They went with the dive look that time on defense. Just flooded the field with defensive backs. Blanketed everyone. Took away all the passing angles. Thus, the incompletion. The kick by Sanders is good. And they're back within a touchdown at 17 to 10. 
These kickers now, it's like we take them for granted. Kicks like that used to be such a big deal, and now you just expect them to make it. Yeah, you're exactly right, and we shouldn't take them for granted, but I have a theory about it. You want to hear it? Yep. They are more athletic now than ever before. Talk about kickers. Trace their backgrounds, trace their history. You'll find that they were big-time athletes all along, but their kicking was so prevalent that we made them specialists. Well, and now those 50-plus yarders seem easy for some reason. The Pats at the line, ready to go. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. 101 yards rushing for him as he has been tough to stop here this first half. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. Looking to throw. Jones. Got the connection here to Bourne. And getting this just shy of midfield, they'll spot it at the 49. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route, and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps, and cuts towards the middle of the field, and now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. From just shy of midfield, Jones. It's brought in by Harris. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins 36. But one of the ways the quarterbacks keep all the receivers alive in a play, never lock in on any one guy. Make sure you keep your eyes moving, scan the field. And here he finds the open guy for a nice pickup. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. We both know it's difficult, but they've made it look effortless out there. Through the air, on the ground, they've moved the ball with relative ease. Jones now on first and ten. Open man here, the tight end, Henry. And they do get him down, but not before he's able to slip it inside the five-yard line. Great mix of play calling so far. Three runs, three passes. All three passes have been completions. First and goal. I think on defense now, you have to almost take a chance. Rely on your scouting. Pick a play you think they would run here and just load up for it and see what happens. Harris going to take this down just short of the goal line. He got three, but could not get the ball over the chalk. Second and goal from the one. Again, it's Harris. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Damian Harris with his second touchdown here in this first half. And the Patriots, they add on to their lead. Now Fulton for the extra point. And the lead is up to 14. So that drive takes him down the field in eight plays. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Taken at the goal line. And a decent return out to the 27-yard line. Miles Gaskin and the rest of the Dolphin offense ready to get back to work here. He's been good. They've utilized him well, but they're losing here in the second quarter. What might they change offensively? I think that what you try and do is expand how you get the ball to him a little bit. Get him out in open space, maybe swing the ball to him. Was that they used to call in the West Coast offense, the long handoff? Yeah. Serve as your running play that way as well as continue to feed him the football. Some of these runs now may pop bigger later in the game because of the effects of running it. Sometimes people, after a while, they don't want to tackle him anymore, or they get tired, or they get out of position, or he runs through tackles. Continue to feed him the ball. He's having that kind of game. Yeah, might they get him the ball in some space in some different ways here. From the 29, Tua. And yeah, this one almost intercepted. Far too loose with the football. Nearly a fourth pick of the ball game. Throwing his tongue of Iloa on third down here. Open man is Waddle complete. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. When you're struggling on offense, you're looking for anything possible to get you going. Sometimes you do it like basketball teams that don't normally press. You put a press on, bring people to life, make them move a little bit quicker. Maybe that'll help them as they head towards the half. 
Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. A reminder that when halftime rolls around, Jonathan Coachman will have all the highlights and analysis of this first half of play from our studios in Orlando. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up what looks to be a third in inches. Can't be more than a half a foot. And this is Parker complete. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Patriots 32-yard line. Good strong throw and catch right there. And so far in this game, the alleys have been open for them to get completions, and they're taking advantage of it. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Looking to pass to him. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Again, they will throw it with Tonga Bailoa. Completes it to the tight end, Smythe. Nine yards, not quite enough, and they'll be left now with third and one. Let's not quibble about the game there on second down. That was a positive play because that was a take-what-you-can-guess situation. Got out to the tight end. Now it gives them a much better opportunity to convert on third down. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. This will be play number eight here on the drive. It's third and a yard. Two are going to throw. Got a man. It's Waddle complete. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. So the ball down to the 16 here for first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And this is caught by Parker for a Miami touchdown. Devontae Parker there to make the grab. And the Dolphins get a late score here in the final minute of the first half. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And that'll cut the lead down to a touchdown. Fielded right at the goal line. And he'll be stopped up at the 25. Damian Harris to the Patriot offense, ready to take over again. He's already cruised past the 100-yard mark. We haven't even gone away for halftime yet. He might not want halftime. <laughs> all right, why cool off? Keep well, everybody here. <laughs> let's stay out on the field and keep going. But all that being said, everything is really working well for them. The play calling's been excellent. The blocking's been terrific. And obviously his vision and legs have hurtled him to this big number so far. We could be seeing something really special here. And we'll see how much they give him the ball here. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. Ball up to the 35.
as they come up on first and ten. Back to throw. Jones. Open man, the tight end, Henry. And down he goes at the 45 after a pickup of nine. The Patriots will take their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 34 seconds to go before halftime. Looking to throw again on second down. Jones, but he'll let this go deep for Bourne. And this is, oh my goodness, he pulled it in one-handed. A big play there just before halftime. But one thing's for sure, they're going to have to come up with something at halftime because he is absolutely roasting them right now. They're going to go through the whole litany of things, changing coverages, you know, what are we going to do to put a man on him? The big thing to me is treat it like a good pitcher treats pitching a game change your timing change your location so sometimes you're up on him sometimes you're back just change up the looks that he sees and make him just a little bit more hesitant so three seconds here remain in the half on is the field goal unit to see about getting three points and folks kick is good and that will do it for this first half so at halftime, it's the Patriots with the advantage. As we go up to Orlando now and hand it over to Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Take it away, Coach. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in, everyone, to an abbreviated version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. Back and forth, we went in that first half. This has certainly been an entertaining one to watch thus far. So let's get right back out to it as we'll rejoin our commentators, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. down on the scoreboard, but they'll have a 
it first as we get going in this third quarter. And we will not see a return to start the half as this will be a touchback. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And right out of the gate, they face what you think could be a pretty important drive. I would say so. You know, they're down two scores. That's not the end of the world. It wasn't the strongest of first halves, but for them to start clawing back, they've got to start putting a little pressure on that defense, start cutting into this deficit. You can't have three and outs and expect to get that done. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Throwing now is Tungavailoa. This will be caught. It's Waddle. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Press coverage on the outside. And for defenders, that's the ultimate risk reward. If you take the risk, can you reward yourself by keeping him on the line of scrimmage? But no, not on that one. Got the step on him. Now it's just a matter of laying the ball out there for him to go get it. Gaskin on the carry. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. I like the strategy. Extra tight ends, extra beef. They want to run the football, but that means they probably want to run it inside. If you get strung out on the perimeter, you're in peril. Yeah, we saw the result, negative yardage. It'll be a pickup of five, and that leaves him with five more. Third and five now. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Tug of Iloa working out of the gun. Complete. And when you've thrown as many interceptions as he has in this one, you definitely start getting a little hesitant to throw the ball out wide because that's prime pick six territory. That time, he made sure the only guy who was going to catch it was sitting in the third row. And this will carry out of bounds. Where are they going to spot it now? At about the 18-yard line, it looks like. So here are the Patriots now. They get ready for their first possession of half number two. We have not seen much on offense from either side. These last few drives, it has been a struggle, hasn't it? Total. And that is going to be pulled in one-handed. Wow. A big play there for New England. So when's the best time to take the big shots downfield? When you think a defense least expects it, and I think the first play of the third quarter qualifies, they came right out firing. That's how you send a message to start the second half of a game. Now a first down carry for Harris. He gets it forward for four, maybe five, but the flags fly. And this one could be coming back. So he was holding from that left tackle position. Everyone tries to keep their hands inside when they're blocking ever since they liberalized the rules where you can extend them out. But sometimes they get out a little wide and they get detected grabbing some cloth. And this nearly an interception, but it's incomplete. Well, a turnover really would have helped him there, but not to be. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Henry's got it out on the left side. They get 14 back, but it leads now to a third down. And with that last play, he's now up over that 300-yard mark. And in today's NFL, it almost feels routine. And I hate that when you talk about a 300-yard passing game. To me, 300 yards still signifies excellence, and he's achieved that in this performance. On third down, here's Harris. 
And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. Only a yard of the pickup there, and it's going to leave them with a fourth down. Well, this was just simply excellent defense. On this third down, they had to be alert for the possibility of a pass, but that didn't stop them at all from understanding what was going on when they decided to run the football, and they just swarmed and stuffed them for almost no time. And folks, kick is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So three field goals that he's hit. Now this last one helps him stretch out the lead. He's been solid, hasn't he? And he lives up to the adage that every offensive coach has ever said to us. We want to end every possession with a kick, right? For them, it's either extra point, field goal, or at worst, a punt. In this case, it's been threes. Now after the field goal, Bailey will kick it away. Waddle is going to elect to not bring this out, and instead his guys will begin at the 25-yard line. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. They punted last time they had it. What steps, Charles, do you think they have to take to make sure they don't do that again? Well, let's just go to the football 101, the trade expression 101. Win first down. Make five, six, seven yards on first down and make it a second and three, second and manageable. Keep accumulating first downs that way. Keep moving the football. You don't want to get behind the sticks because then the defense has the advantage. From midfield, here's Tua. And his pass incomplete. We've got to give out a little applause on that play. It has to go to the defense. More good work by them. They've taken away the passing lanes all game long, and you can see the frustration that it's causing because he just about threw that one into the first row. Now a throw complete to his fullback out of the backfield. And he's got this down to the 35. Second, was that the pullback? That was the pullback. Who says that the slot receivers are the only guys who can catch the football and get big yardage after the catch? Really nice job there, showing good hands and an ability to get upfield. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Off of play action, Tonga Bailoa. Open receiver here, complete, it's Parker. And inside the 20 before he's brought down. Now that is pretty. They executed that curl route versus zone coverage, and that changes things a little bit because against man, it's often a tight curl, tight, sharply run route. Again, zone, you're just looking for that open spot, that dead area, so you may curl it a little bit wider just to get to that place. And usually a tight window. He fired a bullet in there for the completion. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. Here's Gaskin. They struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe it'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. No sense risking anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so he'll just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. That 
It's going to be caught by Carter for the Dolphins touchdown. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Dolphins able to get this back within a touchdown. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead will shrink to six. So the extra point good, and the roughing call going to move the ball out to the 50 for the kickoff. And I think this is a good chance to pin them deep if you can land the kickoff inside the five-yard line or so. Gain some field position for your defense. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Here comes Mac Jones and the rest of the Patriot offense. He has been consistent, hasn't he? He played well in the first quarter, good second quarter, and now continuing that here in the third. And that's the word that they're always seeking from the guy taking the snaps, is consistency. Taking care of the ball, making sure it gets to the right people, no errors, right? Not turning it over and just doing all the right things. That's leadership, and it inspires confidence in a team. Yeah, been a good leadership and a good distributor. And he'll be brought down right around the 37. 133 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Looking to throw, Jones. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and 10. This is Harris. And this winds up a gain of four to the 41. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get them into a manageable third down because they had the incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Complete Hunter Henry with a grab. And he will have a Patriots first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, a lot of times when you get a manageable third down situation like this, you have to think about your tight end, and he comes through for him, picking up the first down. Play clock down to two, and we get a signal and a timeout. It's just their first, so two remaining as they burn one here in this third quarter. to throw Jones right back to Henry and Henry's got it again and he gets it inside the 35 and just shy of the 30. I'll tell you what a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them and these guys have been taking advantage so far. of course, and that moves him back five. Now they need 15 yards on this series after the delay of game, first and 15. Looking to throw, Jones. And down he goes. They sack him back right around the 41-yard line. Jalen Phillips in there to get him. It's a loss of five. Well, I think that time he just maybe held on to it a little too long, CD, because after a couple of seconds in this league, you know those defenders are coming. And how many times did we talk about complementary football? We usually talk about does the offense help the defense? Does the defense help the offense? I think in this case, does the quarterback help out his offensive line? You only have a certain amount of time to get rid of the football. They can only do so much. On this play, he took him to the limits. Now a pass here caught by Hunter Henry. And he's got another first down as he's brought down at the Dolphins' 20-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against him a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there. And they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. And able to fight forward inside the 15 to the 13. 
Seven yards on the pickup there, and it'll leave him with a second and three. They run again with Harris. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Patriot touchdown. Damian Harris, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Patriots add on to their lead. That seemed pretty ideal there for the offense, Charles. You take a little bit of time off the clock here in the third quarter, decent length drive, and you pad your lead as well at the end of it. And what it does is let you feel like you're in control of this game even more so than a two-touchdown lead, right? Because you have taken that time off, as you noted, which means they couldn't get you off the field. You ran your playbook the way you wanted to, and you gave your defense some rest. What a big-time drive in that situation. Waddle is going to elect to not bring this out, and instead his guys will begin at the 25-yard line. Miami's offense set and ready to go. After the long touchdown drive we just saw, you wonder if maybe that's taken a little of the wind out of this offensive sales because they had it going pretty good last time, too. Had to sit over there for a little while, didn't they? You know, they were eager, amped up to get back on the field after just scoring, hoping to get the ball back quickly. That didn't happen, so I'd say come out, just kind of get started again. You know, it doesn't have to be anything dramatic. Just get moving, get loose again, and see if they can get it downfield. Gaskin again on second down. And the ball is knocked out. And it's picked up by the Patriots. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. But he has been a workhorse for them in this game. And ball security hasn't been an issue until that point. Yeah, and let's face it. When he's going to carry the ball that many times, he becomes more and more of a target for the defense, knowing that he's going to be the primary guy. They'll just send more and more players towards him, trying to make sure they knock the ball free. So first and 10 now from the 30. <laughs> Following the fumble recovery, Jones. He completes it to Henry. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Three yards the game there, second down. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it can turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal gain. Throwing again on second down. Jones, now he's going to drop this down in Harris, middle of the field. Down to the six-yard line on a pickup of six as he gets halfway to the goal line. Now I see an extra defensive back on the field. little surprise here on third and one. Here's Harris. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. It'll be first and goal when we come back. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. They'll try and run with Harris. Now he's over the line and into the end zone for a Patriot score. Damian Harris taking it in from two yards out. And the Pats take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. On for the extra point is Folk. And he's been a busy man, five for five now, as he knocks another one through to extend the lead. So that drive spanned five plays. And it was Damian Harris who finished things off with a touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. He 
Here comes Jalen Waddle from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. First down Miami as they get set to start the drive. And last time, not only the turnover, but that turned into six points. They got to make up for that here. We always hear about empty possessions, but some are worse than others. So you can have an empty possession, pump the ball away, get yourself set to play defense, but when you turn it over, it changes momentum, and when they take it downfield and punch it in on you, that's a bad possession all the way around. Yeah, but you're hungry to get back out there, aren't you? You better be, because otherwise, it's going to be a long day for you. You got the big lead defensively, willing to give them that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle them after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Mike eight. Mike eight. Out of the gun on third down, here's Tua. He'll have a first down past the 40. And all the way down to the 33-yard line. It's a big play there for Miami. Now defensively, I know they have the comfortable lead here in the fourth, but they do not want to give up big plays like that. They want to finish strong. So oftentimes in this situation, you tighten up underneath in your coverage and you bring your safeties back. They can pick up anything that leaks through. But in the meantime, upfield, you're making plays on the football. So the Completion results there in nine yards, and it'll be second and about a yard. Tua sets up to pass it, and this throw incomplete. Well, the defender all over in that time, but it's going to lead to third down. And again, it's Tunga Vailoa. back at the 31. Lawrence Guy able to get in there and drop him for a loss. Third and one, they opt to pass it, and the one thing happened that could not happen, they took a sack. Yeah, I just wonder, is that an indictment of their offensive line? Did they think that they couldn't move them enough to pick up a first down there? Or was it analytics? Did they think about it that way? In any event, they'll be studying that in the future. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Dolphins can't convert on fourth down. And the Patriots' defense is going to take over on downs. The Pats at the line, ready to go. Been a very strong performance for them, really, on both sides of the football. The turnover on downs, the most recent example. And now, obviously, they're in a great spot here. Yeah, if you're over on the bench right now, you're shaking hands with your teammate, you're hugging him, give him a little dab. Been a big, big performance for them. Now you just don't get careless. Take care of the ball on the way out. And he'll get up to the 43-yard line. Boy, 175 yards rushing for him now as he has been tremendous all day long. On first down, Harris. And give him about five as he gets this up to the 48-yard line. Oh, that's one to warm the hearts of all those old-school football players, isn't it? Tough, hard, gritty run. Got behind his pads, bowled over a few people. Look at that one, right up the gut. So through three quarters, no reason to lighten up now. And he's across midfield and into Miami territory. Calling a gain of four there, so it sets up a big play here. Third and a yard. A give to Harris. And he's got the first down yardage before he's brought down at the 42. No doubt those are the types of carries they're looking for here, Charles. The lead in the fourth quarter. This is when coaches that have a reliable running game, they breathe a little easier on the sideline. 
Yeah, they love the idea that they can take the air out of the football at this point of the game. That means they're really counting on that offensive line, counting on the runners, taking care of the football. Because you're going to tell your quarterback, hey, no time to be a hero. We're not going to throw it here. Just eat up that clock. And if you have the ball, they can't score. All runs on this drive so far. It's first and ten. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. This one to Bourne, and he's got it. And he'll be out of bounds about a half to a full yard shy of the five. A big play there for the Patriots. No let up in this passing game. They've been a well-oiled machine throughout. And I actually saw a few guys on the sidelines at the end of the third quarter doing the old hold up four fingers college sign, meaning the fourth quarter is ours. And they certainly weren't kidding. A nice pickup of six there to get him closer to the end zone, and it'll be second and goal. He'll try again, and maybe a measure of revenge there. He's had his way in this one, but this time they get him behind the line. Officially, it will go as a one-yard loss, and that's going to lead to a third down. On this day, the ground has been his, but at least on that individual play, we just saw the defense finally with a win. Yeah, they finally got one, and that's a win for them, but all game long. He's seen the holes, and they've been huge for him. Kind of like a baseball hitter in the zone. The ball seems bigger, and he's just whacking it. These guys, they got it going. And he's in. Touchdown, Patriots. Ramondre Stevenson taking it in from two yards out. And the Patriots add six to their lead. Full connects on the extra point. And that stretches the lead all the way up to 27. That time, a nine-play drive. And it was polished off by a Ramondre Stevenson touchdown run. Bailey now to kick it away after the touchdown. Waddle will return this from the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. The Dolphins at the line ready for their next drive. And last time out, went for it on fourth down, turned it over, gave him great field position, turned it to six points, so they've got to recover here, Charles. It's amazing what one decision can do in the chain of events, right? The decision to go for it on fourth down. It caused all of that. It caused every bit of it, but it showed confidence. Hey, I've got confidence in you guys. Go pick it up for them. Didn't happen. Also showed confidence in the defense. They didn't pick up their end of the bargain. So now they've got to come back out and start over and rebuild that confidence. And he'll go out of bounds. It looks like right at the 40. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. It looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going. He was looking for Jalen Waddle there. That'll bring up second down. Tua setting up shop to throw again. It's a short one here, complete to his tight end. And they'll get to him after a gain of seven to the 47. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. Tua now on first down. And he finds Parker here, complete. And he's going to get this inside the 30. Now this game was decided a while ago, and that completion there is going to artificially inflate his passing numbers. So right now, the only one really applauding probably his agent as he thinks about angling for a new contract. Tua now on first down. On the right side open is Gesicki. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. To throw again on second down. Tua. It's a short one here. Complete to the tight end. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. 
Well, this game is certainly pretty well over. They can go ahead and mark it in the win column, but as a defense, they don't want to get so soft now that everybody just throws the ball all over the place against them, gets big yardage, and puts points on the board. They have pride, too, on that side of the ball. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. And a quick throw here, that's complete. Seven yards, the pick up there. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. Second down from the eight. They can get a first down by reaching the five. Now Tua. They'll get this out wide to Gaskin. And he's able to get this down to the five-yard line before he's out of bounds. Going to the air, Tugabailoa. To the end zone, but it's incomplete. That incompletion is not a surprise with the way that this one has gone, and the frustration of body language is evident everywhere. This team, they've really been put through the ringer in this one. Buying, and he will take it in for a Dolphins touchdown. To a Tugabailoa, a five-yard touchdown run. Dolphins get a small measure of revenge as they cut into this fourth quarter deficit. Extra point up and good by Sanders. And the lead now down to 20. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. Now the Patriots will use the second of their timeouts. That's going to leave them with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. So still lots of work left to do, but here comes the onside kick. And this is secured by the Patriots. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. Throwing Jones. He's going to go up top for the end zone. And it'll be incomplete. Good job staying with him defensively. And it'll bring up second down. Finally, a good play there defensively on the deep ball. The secondary has had its struggles this entire game. Offensively, they've had their way with them. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. A little second effort there on the strong run. And then drop just inside of the 20. So the Patriots with the football as we get you reset. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. And he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first. Well, that's a carry they have to be satisfied with. And throughout this game, they've been satisfied with what he's given them. Whenever they've needed a big run, a first down, he's the guy they've turned to. And it doesn't matter what the defense thinks. They feel like they've got the confidence to keep handing it to him and keep picking up good yardage. That's going to set him back five yards. The delay of game backs him up five, first and 15. That one looks like he'll throw here. Into heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Eric Rowe. There he goes, left side. He's at the 30, 10, 5, and he will bring it back. It's a pick six of the Dolphins touchdown. This game's still fairly well in hand, but I think now you, you go conservative, don't you? Go into your shell, just run the football. I think you have to, but you also have to tell your backs, make sure you're really protected. Ball because 
because you're going to run into a stacked defensive front, which is why they were throwing the football before, trying to make sure they didn't get their backs, you know, really beat up in that situation. Now, good luck to them. Extra point up and good by Sanders, and that cuts this lead down to 13. So two scores down, time definitely not an ally, but here comes the onside kick. And this is going to be recovered by the hand team. And that should just about put a capper on this one. They knew they needed a miracle. They had to have that onside kick. They didn't get it. Well, as we knew, even before they put the, the toe to the leather on that one, their chances of getting that done, slim and none. And I do believe we saw Slip just leave the door, didn't we? We did indeed. I think we're down to none. Now the Dolphins going to burn the first of their timeouts as they get it with under a minute to go now in the football game. And they will take a knee here. The Dolphins going to take their second timeout as the clock will stop with 55 seconds remaining in the football game. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. Now Jones. The Dolphins get there this time and they bring him down. Now the Dolphins will use the last of their timeouts as the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. A leap and he's got it. He got it. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. A big play there for the Patriots. So on fourth down, a big time completion. And the defense, they've got to be shaking their heads right now. Not only shaking their heads, but understand that they committed one of those cardinal sins that they say they can't do at any time. They committed an eye violation. Had their eyes in one place and allowed the deep ball behind them. He will push his way down to about the 14. The tackle made by Alandon Roberts. And a timeout comes in. The whistles blow with three seconds remaining. Oh, now look at this. They're lining up to add three more. A little insult to injury here late in the game. And the 13-year man puts it through. And that will swell the lead to 16. Charles, it's one thing to win. It's another thing to win and put up the amount of points that they did. Boy, were they clicking on offense. They can't help but feel great about themselves, can they? I mean, what a game to put up that number of points, continually feeling like they're moving the ball and things are working and clicking. They think that they can bottle this and carry it with them. And as an offensive coordinator, you just don't think you can do anything wrong. Whatever you call, run, pass, it's all going to work. That's called being in the zone. So that'll do it for my partner, Charles Davis, and the best darn crew in the industry. I'm Brandon Gauden. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. And with that, we sign off from Miami.